Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a vlog. It's a vlog of my Manifesting March challenge. As you guys know, every March I put myself out there and try and earn, manifest, create, and most importantly, hustle some extra cash in my life that I can put towards the thousand dollar project. I leave no stone unturned. I look at absolutely everything I can do to raise some quick cash, but also plant some long-term seeds for more income in my life. It's a high vibration state and the sky's the limit. Now, I really hope you enjoy watching this vlog because I am going to be sharing in Monday's podcast on Sugar Mama's Fireplay the actual results. And you're going to be amazed. My goal was initially to try and raise $3,000 but I then decided I was aiming too low and I needed to stretch and push myself further. So in fact, I went for $10,000 and you're gonna hear about the results in the podcast. So watch all the way through this video and then make sure you're subscribed to my podcast so you can see it all happen and hear about what I learned and what the final number was. Enjoy. All right, so it is time to hustle for manifesting March. I am selling a whole pile of clothes, shoes, and accessories. I have had a good long, hard chat with myself about my current lifestyle, my current needs, and of course, my financial goals for the $1,000 project. And I have made peace with myself to let go of a whole pile of clothes. Now, there are a couple of different ways that I am selling these to help raise some extra money. So the first option is, I am going to a shop called Trading In Style, which are on Instagram. They're amazing, it's very dangerous. And for all my high-end pieces where I really would really prefer to try and get the best price possible, I'm gonna let them sell it. Yes, they do take a cut and a fairly high cut, but I'm comfortable with that because I think I'll get a higher price as well. The next option that I'm doing with other items is I'm selling them on my everyday Instagram account at Canna Campbell Official. For me, I just wanna make sure I move things and they go to a good home. So this is sort of my for my mid-level things and you guys can get a bargain if you want to be a part of this. And then the other two areas that I'm selling my items are um, on High End on Facebook, which is an amazing um, Facebook page where you can sell luxury designer goods. And then of course, anything left over will then end up on eBay. But at the end of the day, I'm really focusing on my financial goals. Of course, I don't want to let things go for nothing, but I'm going to be grateful and appreciate the new space in my wardrobe and reconnecting with the pieces that I really do love will feel great. So whilst I use financial affirmations to help I guess strengthen my confidence when it comes to my financial journey. I also really value financial meditations, particularly ones that focus on financial harmony. Now I found a few of them and I'm going to link them in the video description box below, but I'll also be sharing them this week on my Instagram account at Sugar Mama TV, as well as a really valuable link so you can download this program for yourself and not just for financially, but for other areas in your life, relationships, well-being, intellectual growth, and so forth. They're something I've been listening to since I was, I think, about like 17 maybe, and it's made a big difference in my life. In fact, I'm listening to it right now. Manifesting March Magic. I have literally just received an email from my property manager asking me if I would be okay with my tenant signing another 12 month lease and the rent going up by $15 per week. One of my favorite side hustles, some quick cash has got to be market research. And now so much market research is done online in the comfort of your own home. Now, whenever I find a new market research company that I recommend, I share it on my IG story. So make sure you're following me there. Oh, and by the way, I just earned a quick $100 cash by doing some market research on a new financial product. So I have made for you the very special Money Affirmations podcast. I have had amazing feedback 
And there are some really powerful sayings for you to say to yourself about your financial future. I promise you, you will feel so much lighter, more empowered and more positive about your future once you listen to this podcast. So please go and check it out the moment you finish watching this vlog, of course. Also, I should point out affirmations are so incredibly powerful. In fact, I feel like I need to do even more of them because they make such a big difference. Manifesting March is off to a really strong start already. I just made $650 cash selling an old mobile phone on Gumtree. Now, I didn't need this old mobile phone as a backup, I realized, because my phone is insured. Now, I highly recommend go through all of your cupboards and drawers. Anything you know that you don't use, don't value, don't love, simply sell it on the second-hand economy and let that manifesting money magic begin for you. Energy is contagious and inspiring. Now, I've been going through my home and my personal belongings and looking to list them on the circular economy. And in doing this, Tom got inspired and asked me to help him out in doing this as well. And it turns out I have just helped Tom make $3,100 gift vouchers. So apparently $1.8 billion is sitting in households in unused gift cards. Now I got given this the other day. I don't want to become a statistic, so I've used it straight away. Go through all your cupboards and your drawers and see what you might have and just use them. Use them before they expire. And if they have expire, don't throw them out. It's worth reaching out to the store or the brand and seeing if they can give you an extension. Over the weekend, I was buying some new sheets for my daughter's bedroom and I went to my favorite website, Sheridan, because I love the quality of their linen and it lasts a really long time. Anyway, when I went to add to the cart and these items were on sale, so I was really happy. It just wouldn't click through when it, it would just kick me out of the system when I went to try and pay. Anyway, this morning, you guys recommended I get these bamboo shoes, which I found on Oz sale. Now, when I was buying these shoes, I discovered that they had Sheridan bed linen and I was able to buy, not the same, but very similar quality bed linen by Sheridan for up to 69% off. Now, I've just saved over $130 just like that. So somehow I have managed to manifest some My Little Pony merchandise, Applejack to be precise. Now, our two-year-old is going through that delightful toddler phase and it's moved beyond from picking your battles to don't disturb the beast. Anyway, her favorite My Little Pony, of course, is Applejack. And I searched high and low to find her some Applejack paraphernalia merchandise. I spent an hour trawling online at least, and then I called at least three different stores asking them if they had any of these products. These products. They had absolutely no, they actually had no My Little Pony stuff. Anyway, I made a brief passing comment to Tom about my, um, about my search and thought nothing of it. Anyway, he went and uh, searched online and ordered a whole pile of stuff um, for Apple and also for me. How about that for manifestation? <laughs> Hi, so I was just walking the dogs, listening to my money affirmations, and then my phone went off. And if someone sending me a text message asking me if I'd be interested in doing some market research on chicken, paying $100, how, how about that? So I have found even more stuff that I'm happy to release. It's funny, as you're going through the decluttering selling process, you think you've hit a wall and got rid of everything you could possibly think of to sell. But then you have another breakthrough and you find another whole pile of stuff that you're happy to release. So I potentially have a new side hustle and even a new investment opportunity. A very old friend of mine who I haven't spoken to for a while reached out to me and said, oh, I've got this business idea. I just want to float it past you. So we met up and they went through the business idea and turns out they didn't want to just see what I thought about it. They actually wanted to see if I wanted to be a part of it. Now, what the agreement would be is I'm paid a monthly retainer uh, plus potential bonuses, plus potential equity. Now, it's a, a great idea. I really loved it and I'm completely on board, but I'm so incredibly excited about this. Not just obviously the financial opportunity, but the opportunity to be a part of something, to watch it grow and to really, I guess, strengthen and widen my business skills. All right, so I just did some online market research. I think I earned $100. 
and it was very stressful. Let's just say my dogs were fighting in the background. I had an injured pigeon who was trying to fly away and my daughter decided to take off her clothes in the background and have a shower and this one decided she needed to be breastfed. But at least I, I got it done, we survived. Manifesting March and the parking fairies. I just got not only pole position outside where I need to go on a really wet rainy day, I also got this random magical parking spot that doesn't have to pay for a parking meter. Another great way to save money and earn money at the same time is to use cashback websites like Cash Rewards. Now, I only use this for my normal everyday shopping, so I don't go out of my way to spend money to earn money back, obviously. But this is a great way to save money. Plus, you can stack your savings because not only did I get 14% back off the mattress protectors that I had to buy, I also got my shirt and membership discount and I also got the sale that they're running at the moment. So I think I was able to save at least $40 plus I'm going to get back over $40. $29 just manifested like that. I got a bonus from Cash Rewards and I knew I needed to buy a simple black one piece swimsuit for the kids swimming lessons. And so I shopped through the Iconic when I went to check out they applied a random $20 credit to my account. Uh, so I got the cash back from Cash Rewards, which is about four or $5. I got a $5 bonus from Cash Rewards and I got a $20 credit note against my order. $29, just like that. Just made a sweet $50 from Gumtree selling a vase I hated and getting rid of a baby sling. And of course, proactive transfer so I don't accidentally spend it. Now, to make sure that I don't waste this money by spending it on something else, I'm going to deposit this money into my Manifesting March $1,000 project savings account. But if I was time poor, this is what I would do. I would transfer from my everyday savings account $70 to my Manifesting March $1,000 project account. And then I would use this $70 for something that is already in my budget, such as my normal standard grocery shopping. That way the money is being used for something I would normally have to pay for anyway, and the money still proactively is transferred into my special Manifesting March account. Planting seeds. So as much as I would love Manifesting March to be all about quick, cold, hard cash, the reality and the importance is I must also focus on long-term growing income streams, diversifying my income streams and building more passive income streams. So for Manifesting March, I'm really going to invest some time looking at ways I can increase my existing income sources and also diversify my income sources. Thanks to Gumtree, I just made a quick $100 cash selling a mirror in our spare bedroom. So I've just had an incredible opportunity presented to me. It's something that is going to require a lot of time and effort up front, but I think it comes with great long-term opportunities, both financially and professionally. Now, I need to run the numbers to make sure it is well worth my time because doing Manifesting March has really made me stop and question how I use my time and how to use my time, I guess, more efficiently from a financial perspective. But again, manifesting money isn't always about instant gratification. It's about planting those seeds. So I was feeling a little bit flat and I was worried that I would start to feel frustrated. So I took 10 minutes to myself, put on my headphones to listen to some hollow sync sounds around financial abundance and have a go at writing some fresh financial affirmations for myself so I could snap out of this. And it was incredible. Not only did it work, but all these amazingly powerful affirmations just flew out and I wanted to share a couple of them with you. So one of them is, I am planting seeds of amazing financial abundance, which are already growing. Another one is money flows organically into my life and I know exactly how to look after it and how to grow it. Another one is I love to share and help people with the habits, hacks, insights and knowledge I am building for success. They're all positive and they're all in the present and they're all focused on positivity um, and 
you know, abundance and enlightenment. And it's really shifted my mood. Like, it's incredible, the transformation. So let's see what happens next. So I have really put the feelers out there. I'm planting those seeds of abundance. I have been in contact with people I've done business with in the past. I've reached out to my friends for ideas and inspiration. I've listed a whole pile of stuff online to sell. I'm looking at diversifying my income streams and offering different service offerings. I'm looking at investing in my own business to um, for some new projects. I'm ha like getting in front of people, having conversations, but there's this like waiting game where I'm waiting for things to sell or waiting for things to people to come back to me or apply to emails. And it's a funny feeling. So what I'm doing is just sitting quietly and focusing on the sensation of seeing $10,000 in my $1,000 project savings account. And the feeling that goes through my body is a feeling of excitement, um, joy, pride. That's what I'm really trying to just focus and let that feeling and that energy just move through my body. All right, that's really freaky. I just received an email from someone asking me if they could help me out with something. It would take about 45 minutes and they're going to pay me $120 cash. Wow. Affirmations really do work and they are incredibly powerful. In fact, I probably should apply affirmations into other areas in my life. So money flows in two ways. It flows towards you and away from you. You always need to be open to the flow of money. You can't just expect or demand that it to magically land in your lap. You've got to step up and go out and get it for yourself. However, as I said, the money flows in other directions as well. And it's really important with whatever way or manner you choose for that money to flow from you, it flows towards something or someone of value to you in your life and what you stand for. So I have decided that in doing this manifesting march, I'm going to invest in my own business, invest in further growth, further income opportunities. And what I'm going to do is turn mindful money into an online workshop program. I'm investing in a business coach who's going to help me launch a workshop program to help you put practical steps in place as I hold your hand through an online workshop program so that you can realistically apply all of my knowledge, my experience, the facts, the figures, the laws, the taxes, all the rules and regulations to help create more financial freedom and security in your own life. Gratitude. I think it's really important when you're going through any manifestation, laws of attraction, abundance work, that you always stop and take the time to exercise some gratitude. As Oprah says, what we appreciate appreciates. So no matter how silly or how simple it might be, stopping and acknowledging where you are right now, what you've achieved, what you've learned, what you are currently learning, and the fact that you have a motivation and desire to create a better life is something that's worthy of stopping and showing immense gratitude for. So I just got out of a parking ticket. It's pouring with rain. I had all three kids and I wasn't thinking and I just walked away without putting money into the parking meter. I came back to the car 25 minutes later and the ranger was booking me and I went up to apologize and to just grab the ticket from him so he didn't have to put it on my dashboard and he actually said all right I'll let you off uh, you're really lucky and just basically turned away and walked off as simple as that oh, how good manifesting comes in wide and wonderful ways so I really hoped you enjoyed watching this money manifestation vlog as I said, my goal was to try and manifest $10,000 for the month of March. And guess what? I gave it my biggest and best shot possible. And I have some incredible results to share with you on my podcast, Sugar Mama's Fireplay. So make sure you go and subscribe to this very powerful and motivating podcast. Now, I would love to hear from you guys. If you can comment below, sharing with me, if you did Manifesting March, if so, how much did you manifest? Also, what was the most helpful manifesting habit or hack that I shared with you in this vlog? Because I really want to continue on this conversation of man money manifestation. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. And of course, make sure you are subscribed.